this is my college application statistics video because I just posted my uh, decision reactions video and I wanted to give you guys all the information about my application and all of that. So if you want to know that information, just keep watching. I'm sure you've heard this a thousand times, so I'm going to say it again. Everyone's different. College decisions are mostly holistic, so pretty much you can't replicate someone's applications and everything. And one thing isn't going to be a defining factor, it's kind of your whole application of whether you get in or not. So I applied to 18 schools spanning over four countries. I applied through the Common App and UCAS, which are two very different applications, but most of my schools I applied to were through Common App, so most of my statistics are going to be American statistics and kind of what the American colleges look at rather than what the European colleges look at because it's two different things. Um, but, you know, I'm going to have all my information in this regardless of if it was for the American schools or for European schools. So first off, for demographics, which I can't really control, it's just kind of my life. I am obviously white. I am a female going into a STEM degree, so that kind of helped me a little bit. And I'm from New York. I go to a pretty good public school. Yeah, those are my demographics. I don't know if that helps you in any way. For the SAT, I took the test a few times, but I ended up submitting two scores to be super score, which were a 1390 and a 1400, which together super score to a 1420. And that's what I submitted to most of my schools. If they didn't take a super score, I just submitted the 1400. At the time of my application, I had only taken five AP tests so far. AP World History, I took my sophomore year and I got three. AP Language of Composition and AP US History, I both took junior year and I got a three on both of them. And AP Physics 1 and AP Physics 2, I took junior year. AP Physics 1, I got a five on. AP Physics 2, I got a four on. Now, I'm just gonna read you all the classes that I've taken in high school. Um, I'm reading them off my transcript, so I don't have them off the top of my head if I'm looking down, that's what it's for. So in middle school, I was in some advanced programs, so I took Algebra, Earth Science, and Spanish 1, all in middle school. Uh, freshman year, I took English 9 honors, Geometry honors, Global Studies 9 honors, Biology honors, Spanish 2, and Studio Art. Sophomore year, I took Algebra 2 honors, AP World History, Computer Art 1, English 10 honors, Health, Chemistry Honors, Spanish 3, and Photography 1. Junior year, I took AP American History, AP Language and Composition, AP Physics 1 and 2, Pre-Calc Honors, Spanish 4, Photo 2, and Theater Arts 1. And senior year, which is this year, I'm currently taking AP Art, AP US Government, AP Literature and Composition, AP Calculus, AP Physics, C, Mechanics, and Electrics, I think it is. Business Math, and that's it. So my GPA weighted was a 98.342, which is a four at my school, a four out of four, or like 98 out of 100, I guess it's weighted though, so it's like not out of 100, but it is out of 100. Unweighted, it was a 92.333. So I had a lot of extracurriculars. I'm very involved at my school, so I feel like that helped my application a bit. Um, my main one was that I am in student government and I've been in student government for the last five years. In eighth grade and middle school, I was an officer in student government. Freshman year of high school, I was the vice president of my class. Sophomore year, I was the president of my class. Junior year, I was the delegate for my class. And this year, senior year, I am the school president. Another one of my extracurriculars is that I started my own business uh, called The Jesus Vibes. It's basically a business that I run where I make, design, print, advertise, deliver Christian apparel. Uh, you can check it out, you can buy some stuff from me if you would like, but I feel like that kind of showed um, initiative, drive, all that fun stuff that I started my own business, made my own website. You get the, you get the drill. I also was in National Honor Society and National Art Honor Society my junior and senior year, and senior year I was vice president of both of them. I've been a part of varsity gymnastics for four years, so. I was also part of this outside of school organization called RILA, Rotary Youth Leader Awards, or Leadership Awards. 
Um, they have it in different states. You might not have ever heard of it. It kind of depends on where you live, if it's a big thing or not. So I was a Rylarian or like a participant of it my sophomore year and my junior year. I was a facilitator, so I had my own group for it that I ran. I am also a member of Natural Helpers at my school and have been since freshman year where I was um, elected in. It is a group where we're taught how to help people handle their problems and come up with solutions and all that fun stuff. Basically just teaches you how to talk to people and how to help them in life. I've also been in many theatrical productions at my school. I was part of the theater company for one year where I did the musical as an extra, but also my school does this thing called Playfest where it's a competition between the grades. Each grade writes their own play, directs it, puts it on, all that fun stuff. So freshman year I was in the play as, not an extra, but like pretty much an extra. Sophomore year I was the lead in the play. Um, junior year I was a bigger role of a supporting actress and I got Best Supporting Actress. Senior year I wrote the play and I directed it and I got Best Play Award and Best Director Award. I'm also a part of my local youth group where I'm a leader, so I put that in. And finally I am part of the Mindfulness Club at my school. Um, those were all the things that I put on Common App, but for some schools I also sent them my resume. So on my resume, I also have that I am a henna artist and I run my own henna business. Um, and I was a photography assistant for my neighbor who runs a photography business. And I also put a bunch of awards that I've won. I'm not going to go through them, but there's a lot of art awards, um, which that probably didn't help my application so much because I was applying for STEM. But I did apply to one art school, but I got waitlisted. So, yeah. Um, and I was part of a lot more clubs that I wasn't able to put on my Common App application, but they are on my resume as well. Um, but I don't think you guys really care about my resume. If you really, really care, like DM me, I don't know. <laughs> for my recommendation letters, I got one from my guidance counselor, one from my AP Physics teacher, one from my photography teacher, and one from my AP Language and Composition teacher. Um, because my AP Physics teacher, I'm really close with and I did really well in that class. Uh, this is my favorite teacher, my photo teacher, also my favorite teacher, love her, was close with her, really into photography. And my English teacher, I had him write one because he's very good at writing and I, I enjoyed his class. I liked him, you know, so I had him write one too. Uh, and my guidance counselor had to write one, so yeah. And for my essays, for Common App, it was a very different essay than for UCAS. For Common App, I wrote about um, a haunted house that my family puts on every year. Since I was a kid, we had to set up a haunted house in our driveway and we had people come through, our family comes, they dress up, they scare people, and then a few years back we started raising money with it to donate to families in the community that are battling child cancer. So I wrote my essay on that. Um, and my UCAS essay was just about why I want to do computer science. That's kind of what the European schools care about. They just want to know why you want to do your major. So that's why I wrote about was nothing really personal. It's very, here are the facts. Yeah. If you want to read my essays, I'm going to link them down below. Um, so you can read them if you would like. You don't have to, but they're there. I also wrote a lot of supplement essays, um, but I'm not going to share all those because there were too many. And yeah, I just ugh, don't apply to 18 schools. Do not apply to 18 schools. Too many supplements and it's really not worth it. Apply to a few, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this helped, I guess. I don't really know what you want to get out of it, but yeah. If you want to know what schools I was accepted into, you can go look at my last video. I'm committed to Trinity College Dublin, so I'll be going there. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoy. Bye.